Right, everybody, uh, Topsy and I have got an in-joke, which is an off-air joke, which is that I sometimes ask him the same question week after week after week, uh, which is, Topsy, did one team find a way to win or did the other team find a way to lose? And we laughed that it's now a really unoriginal question, so I've stopped it, except it seems quite pertinent. Here, Topsy, <laughs> do you mind if I ask you, did Quinns find a way to win or did Bath find a way to lose on Friday night? I'm very happy for you to ask me this week because it is pretty much what happened. I mean, wild game. You're almost thinking, right, Quinns have got this in the first half, looking very comfortable. And then at the end, you're like, Bath are going to win this and you're going to wonder how they did it. But what helped Quinns? We're going to look at Andre Esterhazen. We're going to look at how you might use your centres to manipulate defence and to just give you some options. Do so, I'm going to press play for you. I'll you press okay? play. It's all good. Double bubble. I mean, the man's a handful. We know that anyway. But what's really good is it's not one trick. It's multiple tricks. So initially, early on, what might you do? 14 minutes on the clock. Just give him the ball. Let him carry. Make the defence think about him. He's got three people in there. 10 plus 12 plus a forward. That's a nice little dent, that, isn't it? It is. It is. And it just it signals your intent. It says, right, this is what's coming. Are you going to be able to handle it? But it's about setting deceptions. So next play, you think he's a bit wider here, being used as an option. If he gets that ball, I think he makes a line break. Ollie Lawrence decides, no, he's not much of a threat. Brave thinking, but he swims off and he moves to the next defender. This is the deception now. You've seen him carry. You think he's going to carry again. There he is, prominent. He's coming, he's coming. No, he's distributing. And Quinns go to the, to the wide space and they make a line break. So now you've got the defence thinking. The best part about it, this centre field scrum. So if you think, Harlequins have got Ben Spencer defending on this open side. He actually ends up coming around to help support Orlando Bailey there because they know we need two guys to stop him. Danny Kerr goes for the wide, wide pass, sorry. Probably not the right option, but at least Quinns are like, right, okay, we've got them now. Exact same scrum, second half. Ben Spencer now stays on that blind side. And if you look at what it does, Orlando Bailey comes across, but he's never quite set to go and make that tackle, meaning that everybody's second-guessing themselves. They're not in the right position. Quinns see the space, they execute it, and it's a really lovely try. So when you've got Esther Hayes, and we know he's not a one-trick pony, but actually, if you use him creatively, you use him very well, it's brilliant. And in the end, it worked out for Quinns. But, but we do need to talk scrums, yes. and we need to talk why they didn't take the scrum last play of the game to go and win it. If you're, I know you're a winger, Tops, but put yourself in my shoes, uh, slightly wider, longer <laughs> shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. If, if you're in an eight-man pack against Quinns, who have lost two to the Simbin, there, I'm feeling like there must be a reason that the scrum wasn't chosen. There has to be a reason. Maybe someone had a crooked neck. Maybe someone hurt their back. Maybe someone had had a stinger and couldn't feel their fingers or something. I don't otherwise understand yeah, it. I'm it, with you. Because otherwise, it's six against eight. Eight against six. You, you just you can lose, but it's pretty difficult to lose. And there are so there are so many fewer variables in a scrum than there are in a line out. It felt like some crazy decision making. So. I don't know, maybe we'll find out at some point. I'll see somebody in a tea shop in town and ask them. But I was watching that thinking, you choose a scrum 105 yeah, days out of 100 you. there. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Eight versus six, they probably have to put an extra back in. You've yeah. got space everywhere. You score, you win the game. But yeah, have to, have to interesting wonder. Friday night. What could have been? What High drama been? at the wreck. High yeah. drama at the wreck. And a short walk home for me, which is great news Lucky for everyone, you, hey? uh, primarily me. Right, after the break, it's London Irish Newcastle. London Irish looking for their first win in... Six. Six. See you then.